show my contribution of uh, how uh, Robert Avakian contributed to the building of Hermes. My name is Erd Steffens. I'm from the University of Erlangen, Nuremberg, and I, I was active in the Hermes collaboration. So uh, I'm, it's a pleasure for me to speak at the workshop in honor of academician Robert Avakian on the occasion of his 90th birthday. And you see a picture of him together with his son, Harut and Enzo de Santis at the end of data taking party in, at DAISY in 2007. Okay, so uh, let me recall how the Yerevan group joined Hermes. Uh, so Klaus Ried, uh, a co-founder of Hermes was approached by Yere Yerevan representatives after his plenary at the uh, High Energy Spin Physics Conference in Bonn. And uh, it's uh, cited from uh, the, the book the uh, Richard Milner and I finished recently, the Hermes experiment, a personal story, the link is shown there. So in 1991, Klaus uh, invite, uh, went, oh, I cannot read it, uh, invited uh, them for participation. And the agreement was procurement of lead glass blocks in Soviet Union and their test as a task of the Yerevan group. Later, this group became one of the cornerstones of Hermes. The lead glass blocks were part of the huge lead glass wall consisting of 840 blocks read out by photon detectors arranged in two halves of six tons in mass each where the particles were stopped and their position and total energy determined. This project was conducted by uh, Nikev, Amsterdam, Nikev, Fascati, and New Mexico State and Yerevan. The blocks were produced by a factory in Moscow as uh, equipment for nuclear power plants. They were paid for in cash, which was handled by a messenger and delivered to the participant Rating labs for testing organized by Robert and his group during the delegate Yeltsin era. era. So the, uh, this uh, slide shows the preparing of the glass blocks. So they were collected in the East Hall of the uh, Hermes experiment, of the uh, HERA accelerator. And then they had to be wrapped light tight and equipped with a uh, photomultiplier tube. And then large numbers of detector modules were produced and tested using test beams at DAISY and CERN. Uh, the tested instrumented blocks are loaded into a massive, um, a massive frame. The gap between the upper and lower half can be opened during beam injection in order to reduce radiation damage of the glass. And here's a, a, a picture on the right, shows the craning of the loaded uh, frame into the position within the, uh, the detector. The photomultipliers are connected to the signal cables, shown here, a block hit by a charged particle produces a signal. Its height is a measure for the particle energy. And here on the right side, the, uh, the Hermes detector uh, prior, prior to rolling into beam position is shown. The lead glass wall is seen here on the red side, the, the red frame. In the background, the electronic trailer is visible housing the electronics and supply units. Uh, this picture shows uh, a track, a three track event as reconstructed by the tracking program. The tracks are stopped within the lead glass wall, shown here, delivering the final energy to the de detector and of course the, the position of the particles. 
So uh, the, uh, the slide is about the, the fact that the first Hermes results were published two years after rolling in of the experiment. And in the first year, 1995, the polarized helium-3 target was successfully running and 3 million DIS events collected, allowing for a test of the Alice Jeffy sum rule. This repre represents the first physics result of Hermes, shown here. Okay, then uh, my, the second part of my presentation, I want to discuss the a memorable event, the advanced NATO workshop spin structure of the nucleon, June 29 to July 4th in 2002. The workshop took place in the conference center, Nor Ambert Yerevan of the Yerevan Physics Institute on a pittoresque slope of Mount Aragaz, uh, 2000 meter above sea level. The lo location within a, a beautiful nature contributed greatly to the intense discussions of the workshop subject. Both Robert and myself acted as co-directors of, uh, of the NATO workshop. The purpose of the workshop was to bring together the community from NATO, community of independent states and other countries working in this field together to discuss the state of the art of experiments in theory, to establish a consensus of future scientific goals. There were 25 participants from NATO countries, 18 from the Soviet, former Soviet Union and three from elsewhere, representing uh, experiments and presenting, presenting these recent results from DAISY, CERN, SLAG, BNL and JAIL. About 30 original reports were given dealing with the explanation, exploration of Hadron spin structure via lepton scattering and with the advancements in theoretical studies from perturbative and non-perturbative QCD models helping to strengthen the links between these two fields of activities. The presentation of current experimental and theoretical studies led to new ideas and plans. There was a consensus among the participants that at the time of the workshop, a transition is taking place from inclusive to semi-inclusive and exclusive reaction. A new fixed target facility with high duty cycle providing polarized beams in the range 25 to 100 GV was regarded 20 years ago as central for our field. It is interesting to note that 20 years later, a similar facility, a polarized gas target with transverse polarization in the 7 TV proton beam of the LHC, plus a world-class detector, the LHCB forward spectrometer is under study by the LHC spin group, uh, mainly from Ferrara and Foscati. Uh, here on the right, on the right photo, you see the co-director Robert Avakian. Uh, during the uh, opening session of the work of the workshop, the workshop program was set up by uh, Akupov and uh, Robert Avakian, Dirk Reikbosch, and Moscow Bamaria. Local organization was led by uh, Albert Avitisian. The support by the NATO Science Affairs Division is great knowledge as well as the support by Daisy Hamburg and the local host institute, Yerevan Physics Institute. Here's a photo of the participants in front of the conference center. And here on the right side, there is a photo of a visit to the castle of Hamburg and the nearby chapel, located about 10 kilometers from the conference center. And another photo on the way back to the center. And here is a photo from the excursion 
to, uh, sorry, <laughs> difficult to pronounce. You can read it, the religious center of Armenia and holy seat of the apostolic church since three, uh, three, 301 uh, AD. Okay. So let me come to the, my conclusions. The workshop as well as the parallel Hermes collaboration meeting profited of the hospitality and warm atmosphere provided by the Yerfi organizing team. Particularly unforgettable unfor was the workshop dinner, the large number of speeches, toasts, and songs presented by the different nationalities. It gave us a deep insight into Armenian hospitality and style of living. The proceedings of the NATO workshop uh, have been published in the NATO science series. Uh, the, it's uh, given here, uh, and yeah, it's so, so it's volume 111 of this NATO science series two mathematics, physics, and chemistry. So uh, let me say that the 2001, uh, 2002 workshop at Noah Ambert near Yerevan on spin structure will be remembered by the uh, uh, grateful participants as an event of scientific cooperation and exchange of ideas, which they never will never forget. The workshop will keep the memory of Robert Avakian as a scientist with visionary leadership alive. Thank you. <laughs>